Tinders, I'm back again, and today um, I'm going to show you how to make a wreck and wreck at home. Now in class we have pre-made ones, so it's pretty nice, but um, making one for usage at home is going to be really nice, especially when we start doing uh, more of our math lessons. So I thought, let's make one at home from things you can find around your house. Now, parents are probably saying, what's a wreck and wreck? I don't know what that is. Well, you may have heard it um, called an abacus or a counting machine. It's kind of one of the oldest types of ways to count. This one in particular comes from the Netherlands, and it's the one that we are going to be using quite a bit, and your child will be using as they progress through the grades. So here's the materials that you are going to need. Um, first, you're going to need a piece of cardboard, so I just found a box that was at my house and I'm going to just cut out what I need and, um, you know, a piece about just the size of this flap is perfect, so I'm going to use that. Um, you are also going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need some type of tape. Any tape really will work. Um, painter's tape, scotch tape, um, masking tape, duct tape, any tape will work. And then you're going to need some type of string. So I have just like some cooking string. I also found some twine around my house. You might have yarn, um, craft string. Any string will really work. Something that's nice and strong. Um, and then lastly, you're going to need something to string onto the string. So if you have um, beads, those are perfect. Um, but if you don't have beads, you can also use things like straws. That's what I just happened to find because I did not have beads. Um, you can also use uh, macaroni or dif you know, different types of noodles. What you're going to need is 10 pieces in two different colors or in the case of noodles, two different shapes. So you need 10 of each. All right, so how do you make the rack and rack? Now, as you're watching my video, you can definitely just pause if you need to go find something or if you need to, you can rewind if you need to watch it again. So I'm going to go straight forward, but you can always pause if you need to. So first, you're going to need your piece of cardboard. So as I mentioned, um, I'm going to use just the flap off of a box. That's going to be the perfect size for my rack and rack. Um, you're going to string on two pieces of string. So I suggest to um, cut two little pieces at each end so that the string can hold on um, to the cardboard much easier and not slide off. So I'm just doing two simple little cuts on each end, just a simple, you know, little like maybe half an inch is probably enough. Um, and then I'm going to need um, to have 10 pieces of something small. So I found some straws in my house, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna cut off 10 pieces and I'm gonna make them about half an inch each just so that I have um, enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So there's my 10 pieces. And then I'm going to cut 10 more um, of my blue straw. Um, so I'm going to hold those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now I've got my ten um, pieces of blue and 10 pieces of red. Now I'm gonna get my string, and again, any string or yarn, craft string, anything really will work. You can even use like elastic if you want. And you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that this string is going to fit um, around your cardboard pieces. And you just want enough in the back so that you can um, tape it down when you're done. So I'm just gonna measure like this around and cut off the piece I'm gonna need, and then I'm gonna do a second one. So you want two of these. So I'm doing my second piece. And kids, if you need some help with your scissors, make sure you ask your parents or an adult. And now we're actually going to string on our beads or our noodles or our straws. Now the way that you want to do this is you're gonna to wanna to string five of the same color on each string. So I'm gonna do five red, two, three, and if you're doing this along with me, 
This is very, very good. Fine motor skills. We like to work on things like this where our fingers are getting stronger. Um, all fine motor skills help our writing. So um, this is actually really, really great practice. Now, if you get a little bit too frustrated, kinders, you can always have your parents help you as well. All right, so I did five red on one string, and now I'm gonna do the same thing on um, the other string. I'm gonna put five more red. Two, three, four, and five. All right, so now I've got five of each on my strings. Now I wanna do five blue, or whichever other, um, item you're using. So now I'm going to do five blue pieces on the other side. So I'm, it's going to look like this. You've got five red on this side and five blue on the other. And you're going to do that two times because you need it on each string. So I've got three, four, and five. Awesome. So I'm done with this one. I've got five red. I've got five blue. And then I'm going to do it again for this string. Two, three, four, and five. All right, so now I've got my second string done, five red and five blue. Now I want to attach this to my cardboard piece. Now when I attach it, I want to make sure that I'm putting the colors on the same sides for both. So I'm just gonna wrap it around the back, just like this. So I've got it all across the front and then I've got the strings hanging on the back. And I am going to tape this onto the back. And again, any tape we'll use. I'm gonna use some painter's tape just cause I have it and it was easy. So I'm gonna tape that down nice and strong. I'm gonna tape the other side down nice and strong. Um, if you really want to make sure it's secure, you can you know, cover everything so that one's nice and covered. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to wrap this around. I'm going to tape it down again. If you don't have tape, don't worry. You can always tie it into a really tight knot as well. Um, and just make sure that it's, you know, nice and tight and it's not going to slip out, but that will work too. So I've taped down both of my um, strings and I've got my matching ones on top. Now I can push all of my strings as far as I can to the right. And um, some people like to mark the right with an R and the um, left with an L so that they remember which side they're starting on. But typically you're going to start at everything over on, um, sorry, I'm backwards, right and <laughs> left. And then you're gonna, when you count, you're just gonna push it off to the side. So you know that's one, that's two, that's three, four, and five. Um, and then you add the second five. So it helps with counting. And when we're learning our team numbers, it helps because we can push all 10 over. We know that that's gonna be 10. And when we're doing counting the make 10 way, we can say 10, one, 10, two, 10, three, 10, 4, 10, 5, or the standard way, the other way we count, we would say this is 10, add 1, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. Now, with my straws, they're a little bit thicker than beads are, so I could have made my cardboard piece a little bit longer so that they have further to slide over. So it's just something you might want to play with and test out, but that's basically it. You've got your wreck and wreck from home, and now you can use it for all of your adding and your subtracting and your counting. And if you do make it, please um, send me a picture of it. Let me see what yours looks like. I would love to see what materials you found around your house. Um, it's kind of neat that we all get to do um, something different based on what we already have. All right, Kinder, thanks so much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing all of your pictures and videos again. And I'll see you soon. Bye.